Okay, well, now I'm in about phase three of my final project here, which is supposed to be loading images from the RAM, which are stored as normal Windows 24-bit bitmap files. Um, the file I'm trying to load right now is this nice arrow pointer here, which is supposed to be my arrow pointer being controlled by the mouse still. Um, as you can see, it gets the right width and height, but unfortunately, the colors aren't quite right. I don't think you can see it very well through the camera, but it's not loading the colors quite correctly because the colors are taking several clock cycles to load, whereas it's just going one pixel per clock cycle. So that's not quite right. Uh, to display this further, I'm going to use a different image than the pointer, which is a little bulkier and easier to see. So to do that, I have several programs to load the RAM with a different image here. So, first thing that happens is that you load the board with their special program so that you can load information directly onto the RAM. And then we open up the RAM file I want to load in there, which is going to be in a different folder, of course. And there's the RAM file I'm looking for. And then it loads it onto the RAM. Takes a few minutes. Well, not quite a few minutes, but more time than I'd like it to. And we have a fun little pulsing light over there. So yes, the current image file I'm trying to load in there was uh, your suggestion to pimp spoon it, and you'll see exactly how that turned out. <laughs> uh. All right, and now the RAM is correctly loaded, so I will load my normal program back onto the board and see how that goes. And this is the normal program with the pimp spoon. <laughs> and of course, I'm trying to use that huge image as my cursor. So, that's interesting. But as you can see, it's getting very distorted. The uh, spoon's actually supposed to be in the middle of the picture, not cut across the sides. <laughs> so. That's what happens when you pimp spoon your code. I'm going to keep working on this.